So, you've been chosen, or have decided to go into a talent quest, or variety night. But, here's the problem. The general public and yo yo are impressed by two different tricks. So, what do you do? So I've done a bit of, you know, performing to non yo yo people, and yeah, there's a vid you can go watch. And pretty much, I've kind of figured out, not figured out, but I kind of have a feel for what the audience likes and what they don't like. So, what is it? People don't like slow techie tricks, so tricks like hourglass or, you know, things like that. They don't like it, right? Because after all, even if you do the most innovative techie looking trick in the world, the audience doesn't know what's difficult. They only know what looks cool, and if it doesn't look cool, then you're not going to get a whole lot of kudos, so avoid slow techie tricks and try and keep the flashy stuff. Speed, okay? Now, I know everyone's not a fast player, but I'm telling you, speed is really important for impressing an audience, because at the end of the day, they don't care what you do, right? They don't know what you do. They don't know how difficult it is to catch a suicide. They don't know how difficult it is to land a green triangle, right? What they do know is how you do it, right? So let's say you do a simple trick, skin the job really quickly, right? They don't know what's going on, but it looks cool, so they're like, oh yeah, that's awesome, right? So if you're not a fast player, um, try some simple fast tricks. Sync to the music, right? I've done a few performances where I've kind of like, yeah, screw the music, I'll just play and make it up on the spot, right? And you know what? Those performances were horrible. They're awkward as hell, the audiences were silent, and it's just, it's not cool, right? So when you sync to the music, right, you kind of impress them in a way. Sometimes I just land a really simple trick. It could be a trapeze, it could be a, I don't know, inverted trip, an Eli hop or something, and it's synced. They like it because they think, oh, you know, that's cool. It takes, you know, skill to land to the beat when really it's not, it's not that hard to do. You just, you know, use the music to kind of land a trick. So sync to the music, it'll get you extra audience brownie points. And this one's showmanship, right? You don't gain anything from doing a techie combo with your head down, trying to land every consistent thing, right? Sometimes they're not going to even know when you miss, but what they do pick up on is how you include them in the performance, right? So if you're up there and you're just kind of, you know, doing your own thing and not really looking at the audience or anything, sooner or later, maybe after two or three minutes, they're going to get bored. So what you need to do is, you know, constantly include them. So, you know, do that or like ask cheers or, you know, put your hand up when you're doing a, um, a really difficult trick or, you know, and do that as if you landed a really difficult trick to kind of inform them on what you're doing. So then they feel included and they're more inclined to pay more attention. Last one is make it look difficult, right? Now, this is kind of uh, if you want, a lot of people say, oh, well, if it looks easy, they look skillful. That's true, right? But if you make it look easy, the audience doesn't know any better and they believe it's easy, right? So I've done tricks such as, you know, um, easy ones like Revolution, Mark V, and they're cool looking tricks and they're super easy to do, but when I did them and they were easy to do, no one really cared because, you know, it looks easy. So what you need to do is kind of put on a kind of acting face and do, whoa, and then, you know, kind of land it. So they believe it's difficult. And when they believe it's difficult, they'll cheer. So make it look difficult. I'm going to put down below a couple of tricks that I found work really well that you could try and learn and incorporate for your variety night or talent show or whatever. And yeah, hope that helps. So have any of you ever performed at a variety night? Or what's your favorite trick? Did it get a lot of applause? Comment down below and I'll try and get back to you guys, alright? Thanks.